Not that that's a big deal, but I'm just wondering why it's doing that. Let's go down for a second. Okay. Let's talk about the next one, and it's face discoloration fix. This one purports to get rid of dark face bug, or black face bug, or brown face bug, however you want to discuss it. And in the past, we've discovered that in previous testing in the olden days, we found out that what happens is we can go, let's go into S SSE edit, and I'll kind of show you. We know that in order for things to work, you can't have a mismatch between face gen. Thought it was time to reset. Not yet. The Transu, subscribe to tier one. They subscribe for two months. Yes, thank you very so much for subscribing. You know, I always, always appreciate that. I still did not get alert for that. I didn't hear it at all. The alert box is on. Test widgets. Huzzah! See? I don't know. I I don't I don't understand that. Why it doesn't go off. He transfers is the man. Yeah. Mm. Let's get back to it. My alerts aren't working. Damn you, Streamlabs. Okay. Little to no pain, wrist hurts a little bit when bent. Good. That means things are healing probably. Properly, I should say properly. So in this case, let's just take a look at Wiko. Wiko Immersive People is a very popular NPC overhaul, but I have others in here. RF overhaul for some other people. Uh, RF overhaal for USSP. Kiyuma 3D NPCs, that sort of thing. But what we're looking at is face gen data. This is going to be under your NPC. We're, of course, looking in SSE edit. And look at Advar. Advar is very, it's always, it's always right at the top. So what you see here is all the face gen information right through here. You see all the tints and different things that are being changed by this. Okay. Probably not the best choice. Let's take an else if the fair um, RF overhaul. But other mods. Huzzah! See, it worked that time. New subscriber RR Werewolf 13. Thank you for following the Dirty Weasel Media Twitch channel. It's very nice. Glad to see you. But what happens is. You have two components. Is the face gen data that's contained in your facial overhaul. That's all the face gen stuff that is contained in the ESP that's being overwritten. Also in, let's just get down here and I'll close these. In Wiko, now this is a very important thing to understand. Wiko, I have unpacked the, the ESP or unpacked the BSA. So when you open this in the file tree, you'll see all the meshes and textures are contained therein. But the, the BSA is not here. Okay, it's going to be in the optional. See that? So all these things are actually in here. Let's go ahead and take a look. We'll open this in Explorer. And see textures, actors, character, Argonian male, Argonian female. So you have all these textures in here. Okay. And all those are going to be named. Let's go back into meshes as well. Actors, character, character assets, face gen data, face geometry, Skyrim.esm. All these NIF files. These are meshes. But Huzzah! who's that? Victor's Wife, subscribe to Tier 1. Thank you so much, Victor's Wife. And the hype train just started in your channel. I've got a hype train. Choo-choo, baby. Choo-choo. So all these are meshes. You need to throw this in into the mesh thing. What's going on here? Files in my overwrite because I opened SSE Edit. So if there is a mismatch between the face gen data 
in other words, the textures and the meshes, and what's contained in the ESP, it will get all messed up. It won't know what to choose. And the easiest way to do that is probably, let's see, how am I gonna do this? I need to re-break my game. So let's look up immersive armors. Do I have immersive armors open? Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Let's just go immersive armors. Close that down. So, immersive armors, 171. Go over to plugins and we look for immersive armors again. There it is. It's now at the bottom. Okay. Be trans to cheer hype. Naked Nord guy. Yeah, it's Naked Nord guy. We love our Naked Nord guy. Um, so now we know that we've introduced some other things in here. Let's go back into SSE Edit, and we'll go ahead and also mess with Nord War. What is it? Let's find it. There it is. DIS replacer. We'll haul that down. We're going to haul that down as well. We're going to really screw up our game. And then we'll go get the other one. Armor compilation. We are really screwing up our game. Okay. Let's go back into SSE edit and take a look at what we've done now. You saw nothing was overriding Wiko. Nothing was overriding the other thing. So there's no problems there. But if we look at NPCs, is it in this one? I think it's in this one. NPCs. NPC character data. There we go. Farkas. All right. This is a perfect example. This makes it very simple. You can now see, yeah, Wiko, RF character overhaul, RF character overhaul, US as EP patch. And then you have Nord Wars armor replacer. If we scroll down, look. You have Wiko RF character overhaul, and then the DIS replacer is overriding all these values. You see right here, it's 0 0.04000. That's the original Wiko and the original AI overhaul, but RF character overhaul wants them at negative one. So now you have all these things being overridden, and what's happened is it's now gone from negative 0 0.04, negative 0 0.04, negative 0 0.04, to negative 1 in RF character overhaul, negative 1 in, in RF character overhaul, USS EP patch, but 0 point, negative 0 0.04, no, let me think about it some more, in the DIS replacer. Okay, so now it's telling you, no, you have to refer to DIS replacer for the text gen information. So, when we close that down and we go to Nord Wars DIS Replacer, it's this one right here. We open this up in Explorer, Meshes, Armor Replacer. There's nothing here about NPCs or character gen, there's no textures in here. For character gen it's all armor replacers so the game has a quandary essentially what it's telling it is there's a mismatch between the two 
and it won't know what to do. So you get brown face bug because there's a Mitch match. It's telling you we want the character gen information from this mod, but there's no text gen to match up with it. It doesn't contain it. It's all up in here, and it's being overridden. It doesn't know what to do anymore. Okay, let's go back in the game, and we'll just see, make sure we're looking at the right things here. I don't know if this is going to run. We've kind of messed with it a lot. There we go. It's running. So in the past, what you would have to... And I'll wait. I'll wait for that. So just so we can see what happens when you mess with this a lot. You can get an idea of what we're talking about. We'll go in and take a look. You know what? Let's do that. Haha! Auto saves. Dragons, I can handle. But this talk of dragons. Try looking around for people. I think it's probably the best way. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must. Either have I'm drunk or you're naked. You're you're I not. I can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you spawn? I need to find a mod that breaks things even more. I think. Yep, they're down there talking. Aha! Aha! We've got one! Look, 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 look! Uthgar the Broken! She broken! We found one! Yep, so that is Black Face Bug right there, our Brown Face Bug. And you can see the mismatch. The game doesn't know what to do. Okay. Let's exit out. Not what I'm wondering. So we found one. It's Uthgard. We just got to find her again. Now, what we used to do in the past, and I recommended this before, is to take, make sure you do a couple things. Is to take all of your, like, Wiko, Realistic Faces, all of these character gen and facial overhauls, make sure your BSAs are unpacked. And included in here because you notice there's no there's no BSA in here at all. Right? Matter of time, it'd be at the bottom here. But upsetting weathers, you don't see any BSAs for Wiko or any of the others in here because I've already unpacked them. So and the way you do that is to do it temporarily, it's not that. Go into workarounds, plugins. There we go. Go into plugins. Come down here. Your BSA extractor. You can see it's not enabled right now. You would enable it and install the mod and it will unpack the BSA. Cancel that. We'll just turn that off. Cancel that. And the other thing to remember is because you don't want to have any ESPs overriding this, it would be placed the bottom. Yeah, you can see all the Wiko stuff. So what I did is decide I want all these to be near the bottom. You can see it's not overwritten by very much. So I use loot. And loot has rules. Remember, loot has groups. I'm going to open my group editor. If you come down over here, you will see NPC retextures. And contained in is Wiko Immersive People RF character overhaul, Kiyuma 3D NPC, redone, ESP. And all I did was create a new group by pushing this button and it then connect it in here. So the NPC retextures would come after all my late loaders, but before the level list modifier, world space settings, I, there's nothing in there. Um, but this would be like your river mods, like Realistic Water 2 would go in there. But NPC Retextures, I put in here. This is one I added. And that's where all these things go, so they always win. Everything else is up here. All my weapon mods are all my other stuff are up here. But my NPC Retextures are almost at the very end. And that's how it works. 
Okay. So that's why they all end up at the bottom. So now we have broken our game. We've added stuff that is now breaking some rock face bug. Let's go see. Let's install this mod. And we now know that the face to discoloration fix will need to do two things. It will have to take the text gen information from the ESP and the information contained in the text gen, in other words, the textures and meshes, and make it not screw up. Okay. Let's see. This mod prevents the game from discarding tint data, so when errors are encountered, it will regenerate faces with the correct colors. So it's essentially telling the game, yeah, it, it has a problem, but instead of defaulting to, uh, I'm a stupid creation engine, and I don't know what to do, I'm just going to make everything brown. Okay, because you have a mismatch there. The game says, uh, I'm stupid, and make them all brown. This will tell the game itself, no, don't do that. Go back to the last known tints. Okay? It's just a plugin, a DLL plugin. Downloads, face discoloration fix. Let's get back up to our SKSE plugins. And we're just going to take that and we're going to download it right there. Discoloration fix, SKSE plugins, good. We know it's just one DLL. We're going to activate it. No conflicts, no nothing else, no weirdness going on. No SKSE plugins, no nothing. Okay? Why is this like this? Why is this so big? I want to resize you. Never mind, I'll fix that later. I'll fix that later. Um, don't care enough to, to screw with it right now. That's fine, right there. Okay, plugins, no new plugins. Let's run the game. And we'll go find it with Guard again and see if it works. I have no idea. I have not tested this mod ahead of time, by the way. I have not tested it one bit. No idea if this is going to work. In theory, it should. In theory. Everything is in theory sometimes with, around here. It's quite funny. You poop, you poo, you poop, poop, poop. I should have an auto save from exiting. All saves. Yep, right there. Now, the only question I have is she going to be. Still broken because I've already gen generated the text gen information for her or the character gen. She might be. She might still be broken because the character gen is already baked into the save and sometimes that can happen. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, 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 look. By Izmir, it's true. There she is. A jester, funny suit and all, just north by the Loria's farm. Fool had a coffin in a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uthgard is finished. Base last changed by DIS armor compilation. So it does work. It just works. Okay. So now she's wearing the armor. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. She has now wearing the armor from DIS, well, Nord Wars like armor replacer, but her face gen has been fixed. Because now it's just pulling the face information. It's probably still have like my ma. the facial <laughs> geometry, the in other words, the mesh from oh, DIS. So it's probably her vanilla Lord face, Talk of a riot in but the tints are now, correct. Sisters? Skyrim's gone mad, girl. You need to be careful out there. I would like you to check the vamps at Half Moon. They are worse than dark faced issues. Okay. Yeah, right. 
Okay, let's go look. Half Moon Mill is down here. No, 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 no. Just no, 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 stop it. I forgot I have to do things a certain way. Half Moon Mill. Let's see if we can get there. Okay. Are they here? Oh, I see them. They're hiding under the tree. Hiding under the tree. There they are. Look at them. Here for work. Oh yeah. They still have the creepy eyes, but their face gen is is fine. I can guarantee that's facial geometry from something else, but that that black face. We don't know if that black face bug was screwed up in a base game, but it will fix this. I don't know if that is I mean, we could do a quick save here. F5, please. Fine. Quick save. Okay. We don't know if that's... If I have a black face bug issue on those two. But let's go back out of the game. And turn off the fix and see if that was... A result of the fix or not because we don't know we'll jump back in and see because remember i fixed most of my blackface bug issues this is only dealing with the esp character gen texture and mesh issue i don't know if i have an issue with these guys we'll have to see Oh, it does. So I do. Without the fix in there, I do have a problem because I've broken my game. But there they go. It does work. So there you go. It will even fix Vampire Blackface Bug. So let me get this straight. The load order is still critical for face meshes, which win. But the discoloration fix does the... F does fix the browning, which is caused by his tint conflicts. Yes, the tint conflicts because the ESPs that are overriding the information and Hoth Trooper may have it in there. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Because it's adding NPC information, it's throwing everything off. And when that happens... The game doesn't know what to do. Armor add-on. Outfit. Yeah, so I can't find it right now in this, but I can guarantee it's what's causing it. Okay, so it's whenever there's a conflict, the game doesn't know what to do. It's not because the conflict itself, it's because it's how the game is interpreting it. And without that, if, let's say, we'll turn that back on. I don't want to mess that up. So you want to make sure the structural elements, the meshes are still load order dependent. So you still want to make sure the right mods win for the meshing, but the tints are no longer an issue. Yes, that's it. So it will go back. The tints will still be there. But it will go back to the last overriding. For instance, let's um, textures. Because we know, where is Wiko? This has tints, this has meshes and textures and the tints. And it's being overridden by realistic faces and sky side skins and all these lore friendly things here. So 
Let's see. We obscure faces. Let's find something else here. I've I've kind of messed with everything here. So the text gen information on this one. Let's try and find. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's called realistic faces. So it's going to go to the last known mesh and texture for what's here. Even though the facial geometry may be different in here because it's going to go to the last known. Instead of having a conflict, it's going to mess with it. So, but, so the DIS replacer, remember, it changed the facial geometry, the size of the nose, all those different dimensions, just like you would see in race menu. Those are the dimensions that you're generating. And now that the conflict is the game is being told, just ignore the conflict and use the last known information. That's all. It's now telling the, the engine, don't don't do a brown face. Just just ignore it. <laughs> 